Katrin here with European Paper Crafts in the US. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. I am so glad you're here. Today I have miniature cards for you with acetate windows and see-through or transparent stickers. So let's get started. In my shop I have these beautiful transparent stickers. They are plastic and they uh, can be peeled off and then they are see-through stickers and they are absolutely gorgeous. I found them on a craft fair for my wholesaler last fall and I have them now in my shop and they come in different packs, blue and pink and uh, blue, yeah, purple flowers, yellow. Uh, some have these beautiful envelopes, some just have flowers. Uh, just absolutely gorgeous and I thought these could be uh, a beautiful alternative to pet tape. Now some of you may know pet tape and this is what it is. So pet tape is this clear tape plastic that uh, when you peel it off you have these gorgeous uh, flowers here. It comes in very many uh, varieties. The washi um, washi tape uh, store sells them. Um, I thought, well, first of all, the pet tapes are a little bit pricey. And then also you would have to still cut these out. So this is, uh, they may have them as stickers, I'm not sure, but this one, the tape that I have, that I bought, um, you still have to fuzzy cut them. Now, given this is not a difficult task because you have this a transparent background so you don't have to go exactly into uh, all the little niches there to cut it out but still you need to cut it out otherwise you just have a strip of all these pretty flowers now instead now you have these stickers they're already cut for you and all you have to do is peel them off and then you have a see-through or transparent sticker. And again, they come in all these beautiful colors, different sizes, smaller ones, bigger ones, absolutely gorgeous. So when I looked on YouTube to find some inspiration, I found a video by Strawberry, Pink Strawberries, that's her name on, on um, YouTube. And I'm gonna link her video below. And she made uh, miniature cards with an acetate window. And I uh, saw it, I really liked it. I put my own spin on it. And here are the cards that I have created. First of all, what you will need in order to make these cards, and these are four by four, you need a strip of paper and that should be four by 12. At least that is the size that I have used. Now, this makes a lot of sense to uh, those of us that have these 12 by 12 inch uh, paper packs, and I'm sure plenty of us have these. So you can up, uh, use up your paper packs. They don't have to be double-sided. It's totally fine. If um, Actually, it works better if they're just uh, single-sided. So this is a uh, Recollections paper pack. Most of Recollections ones are single sided, so it's perfect. So you cut a strip that is 4 by 12 and then you score it at the 4 and 8 inch mark. And now you have a 4 by 4 if you uh, fold it up like this. Now, what you do is you fold one in and then you cut a hole in one way or another. So, what I have done is I used my dies and cut into these two layers. And then before I glued these two layers together, so before you glue this to here, you put a piece of acetate in the window. And then you can add one of the stickers right on top. And doesn't it give you a gorgeous look? This is the card. And then um, what I have done, and you can do the same, if you have concentric dyes, so dyes that come in, uh, it's the same die that comes in different sizes, then you can even cut a frame. So for this heart window that I have here, I cut the frame and then here is my uh, piece of paper and then I rounded the corners just to give it a more finished look, put a little heart here on the back and then as an embellishment, this butterfly. So I'm gonna go through these cards rather quickly just to show you how pretty they are. And then because they are four by four, I also made matching envelopes. And in this particular paper pack from Recollections, there are also the um, solid colors in there that uh, some of them had them like the last couple years. 
Michaels had these packs where you also had solid colors. Well, that's perfect for envelopes. So with my envelope maker from VR Memory Keepers, I made these little envelopes and then even added one of these flowers here, right here. So again, they're stickers. It's not uh, difficult to, to make them. So here's my first card. And if you're interested, this pretty butterfly comes from the uh, little birdie stickers and these are dimensional stickers with those pretty butterflies. So here is my first card and we're going to go through them now quickly. Um, next I made a card with an Easter bunny so since I had my die cutting machine out see you can look what type of uh, dies you have here I just cut this pretty window um, again, this is a die that I have just added a cute little Easter bunny, also a die. And then here is the card. And I think they are so cute. And I will use them as thank you cards for orders that come in. So um, these are just perfect. They're not too big, but see how this sits in here. Isn't it gorgeous? I just love that look. All right, let's see. Next. Again, I have a heart here, and here is uh, the paper, and this is basically what I have just shown you. You know, this is the same paper. I still had some left. Here it is already assembled, so you have this die, and of course you put it through the die cutting machine when you have uh, both together, because you do want to have it in the same place. And then, um, Add one of these many stickers and here is one more butterfly and I created this frame by using two of the concentric dies and not to forget a pretty flower on the envelope. Okay, here is my next card and again I really like it. Um, this is perfect to use up all your pretty papers that you have in your stash. And um, here I added some ephemera. And stay tuned, next week I'll have a video where I show you what else you can do with ephemera. And I have all these ephemera bags in my shop. Let's, see. these are by little, little Birdies as well. And look at this absolutely gorgeous ephemera that they have, just beautiful. There are 70 per bag, 35 designs, they're in there twice perfect for spring. Uh, this one here is called the birds and the berries, 70 pieces. The next one is called celebrate uh, life. This has 50 pieces. They're just a little bit bigger and look how absolutely gorgeous. I love the camera reef. Look at all these teacups here, butterflies, tanks, pretty birds. So yeah, I made another video with just these beautiful die cuts that uh, will come next uh, week. And then these are, these I had last year. That's how I started off with the Boho Dreams. And just absolutely beautiful, beautiful designs. So these are available. And one piece from the many, many pieces I just used on this card here. And I think it's so gorgeous. And then of course, one of these see-through. And some of these stickers, as you can see, actually have the beautiful flower, but then also some foiled outlined flowers. This is all just one sticker, you peel it off. And, uh, and another thing is it you can actually peel these off and I want to show this to you. Very simple. So if I have this flower here, right, you would think, well, how does it come off? But really with your thumb, you only have to go a little bit on the edge. And then, of course, now we have uh, the camera on and then it never really wants to work. But if you kind of try to, let's see. Yeah, here it comes. So you just See, here it comes. This is how it separates. You have then this beautiful and um, see-through sticker. And then here you have then just the acetate background that you can discard. So, um, yeah, they come off really simple. And that is another card. Next, a heart. So I had these primitive heart dies. And here uh, what I have done is the 
uh, opening wasn't big enough for my blue flower, but I just uh, then got over, went over the edges. And because it is transparent, it really doesn't make a difference. But you can see this little foiled butterfly. How cute is that, right? And here, and even from the back, it looks nice. So when you write your note here, it, um, it still looks beautiful, right? And then, yeah, and then you can always put a little flower on the envelope too. And this dragonfly is also from Little Birdies. So here it is for these pretty dragonflies and they even got some glitter and a rhinestone there. So quite cute. All right, then here I made a circle punch uh, or circle um, die. So I had a little bigger window. And again, check your dies, see what you can use. But the uh, system is always the same. You have this strip of paper that you fold um, and then you have this beautiful window. And here another dragonfly from the same sticker pack. Um, I cut this frame. This is, this is the great part. If you have concentric dies, then you can cut a little frame. And here it sits, this beautiful gift with roses. And this one is um, also is outlined with some metallic. Um, you can see it here. How gorgeous is that? It has some, you know, white background here. Just absolutely gorgeous. Now, um, if you need acetate, well, let me show you my this one, and then we're going to go into, um, I have two more cards that are totally different, but using the same idea. Um, so, look at this, so so cute, and even this just little bunny here that's just cut out of uh, glitter paper makes an impact on this card, and all the pretty papers that you have, you can use. I like it when I round the edges, here's a little butterfly, but uh, really the uh, showstopper is this gorgeous gorgeous uh, sticker that sits here in this window. Now, if you need acetate, I do have uh, acetate in my shop. Um, I uh, have the uh, Dress My Crafts. There are 10 acetate sheets, and I really like these. These are high quality acetate sheets. Um, you can, uh, of course, cut into these. And um, I really got into uh, working with acetate last Christmas, you know, for my cards. And I'm going to keep using them because I like uh, to uh, work with acetate. So if you're interested, I have this available and I will, will link it below. But I also have these foiled acetate sheets. So these um, uh, come in these beautiful packs by uh, Hunky Dory and it's got all kinds of foiling on it. And I'm going to show you what I have done with these acetate sheets. Okay, I just wanted to sh uh, share with you the last couple of envelopes from these cards here that have, um, that have also the stickers on, on the envelope. And now I have two more cards that are a little different, but also using the acetate window. In my shop, I have these packs of glitter embossed cards and matching envelopes. And each pack is a little bit different and I will link them below. Um, each, um, let's just open one pack so you can see. There are different cards in here, all the envelopes. And there are different cards in here. And each card has a window cut out, okay? So here, is the die cut window and then you got this beautiful card that has some glitter uh, embossing on those cards. Now these cards are great to use as they are because they come with matching envelopes but of course don't forget to cut into them. You can definitely use them as cardstock and cut into these gorgeous par uh, cards. So I have these available, I link them below and now I want to show you what I have done with these cards. So. Here is my first card. So what I have done is I have taken out the window and I have gone ahead and um, just used one of the easy 3D toppers here. But the window, I also added some acetate. So I added some acetate. 
I added one of these beautiful stickers and here this acetate is uh, just regular there's um, this is just a regular piece of uh, acetate and then I just embellished it and because the card is so absolutely gorgeous you can see the glitter embossing on here um, it's this beautiful cardstock um, but then because the card is so beautiful I thought uh, why not make this into a reusable card? Now, what's a reusable card? I'll show you in a minute. But so, so here is uh, one of the uh, gorgeous easy 3D toppers that I have layered. And I have so many in my shop. Please check them out. A heart that I cut out. And these little sprigs here, they are also a die and, um, and added a bow. So what is a reusable card? Well, when I open it up, here is uh, a cutout. Now, for some reason, this is not this cutout. When I took this one out, it disappeared on me. And I don't know if that happens to you sometimes, but my craft desk can look very messy. So when I took this out, and this is die cut, I put it aside and couldn't find it. So I used a different one. But what you should probably use is the one that you take out of the card and you put it on the inside. And what I did is I created a tuck spot. So with this, I just added a little bit of glue down here, and now I have a tuck spot. I added some paper inside here, and that is the same paper I added for the background. Because, you know, when you put the acetate here on the back, you will see all the different uh, glue uh, lines that you have there to adhere the acetate. So I covered it up with a piece of cardstock and that's exactly this piece only facing that direction. So you can see the green uh, speckles here in the back, but that is this paper. So then I use this paper again for my um, inside. So what you would do is you won't write in this card. Instead, I um, added two of these cards that can go in there. This is just regular white cardstock. I uh, punched out the corners to make it a little bit more decorative and then you can put it in there. Now you can write your message here and you can even say that this is a reusable card and basically give permission for the recipient to use it again and maybe put a second piece in so that when uh, the recipient has seen the card, looked at it for a couple of weeks, then they can take the note aside and what normally would then go into the trash, they can now use again. The only thing is they would need to have another envelope. And what I have done for my second card, because you get, of course, one, um, one envelope per card, right? But if you want to make it a reusable card, then um, what I have done is I created another envelope. So, you know, if you have the... Uh, we are memory keepers envelope and I tell you if if I would if I would keep one tool if I could only keep one card making tool uh, besides my um, my cutter because I cannot cut a straight line if my life depends on it then I would say um, exactly I would use the um, we are memory keepers so and now I have a second envelope that then I can give as a gift as the reusable card. And now I have one more card and uh, this is my last one for today. And here I did the same thing. I took out the window. Here is a gorgeous piece of uh, die cut from the little birdies. Uh, the happy birthday is a sticker. Here are the beautiful stickers and when you open it up, here, I, um, again, I didn't have the inside. I don't know what happened to it. I used a different one that I had laying around and made this into a reusable card. Here's another sticker on this piece. So this is how you can make your cards last a little bit longer and use these gorgeous, beautiful embossed cards. And here are the cards that I have created today. I hope you like them. I just wanted to show you on this one here. I used the acetate um, sheets that have these beautiful foiled birds on here. So again, this comes from this acetate pack. And doesn't it look gorgeous? So you can play around with uh, different acetate too. But yeah, here they are. I had a lot of fun making them. Let me know what you think about it. Um, 
if you have a work with transparent stickers or yeah, if you would like to see more with these transparent stickers, because um, I may come up with different ideas, but um, I really liked uh, the outcome of this of these cards. And if you did too, then please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and um, share this video with your crafty friends and family. I would really appreciate it. It would support my channel. So thank you very much for spending time with me today. Please stay or get well. Happy crafting. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.